How are we feeling overall after that result? You, you know, um, if you'd have asked me the same question at halftime, it would have been a different answer. But again, to get ourselves back into a game um, where you're 2-0 down and to, to drag ourselves back into it is a positive. We just need to learn that you, we can't keep going down goals and expect them we're going to get back into it. Um, and so we've got to learn the lessons from that. We'll look at the video, we'll look at where it went wrong in the first half. Um, we obviously changed our shape in the second half, which started to help us a little bit. Um, a couple of different players on personnel thought Sofia Venus came in the game and she changed the game, just in terms of a physical presence. Um, so, so we'll take a look at the video and find the positives and then find where we need to fix things and then we move forward again. We've got you know, two tough games next weekend against Texas and Baylor. You'll be icing your hamstrings after that second goal celebration? Yeah, I lose control every now and again. Hopefully it's not on video, so. What, what, what's the emotions that you're experiencing in a moment like that, though? Yeah, listen, you, you, you work all hard for this. You know, you work you work all week to for, for moments when you score a goal, so why shouldn't you celebrate, you know what I mean? As, you know, as, as, tough as, as tough as it was to swallow in the first half, when you come out and you fight back in the second half that way, then, you know, you gotta let loose every now and again. The goalie was tested a couple times early. Yeah. How do you feel like she responded overall? She did solid. She's been she's been great for us and stuff after coming in with Lee. You know, Lee was on the bench tonight as a, as a backup for us in case in case something happened. And uh, no, Maddie's done great. Maddie's done great. And like I, you know, I've said all along, it's going to be a good fight between those two over the season. So anything particular first half that you were discussing at halftime that you, you felt like? Yeah, our midfield was too deep off the front line, so they were able to find those sixes and get out. Um, they were able to play right through us. And, and, you know, to be quite honest with you, you know, they all fought us, you know, and that's something that we have to learn that, you know, we've said all along, if we're going to come to this place in here, we've got to be the one, we've got to be the aggressor. And um, so we had that talk at halftime and, um, and, you know, we were able to make those adjustments and we did make those adjustments after the, after the second half, after the first half and the second half. Started. Any of the, you had a few other chances late in the mm -hmm. late in the match. Any one in particular that stung to not see it, it go home? You know, um, no. I mean, good chances. I think the Zoe one around the penalty spot. Caitlin Shaw's had one on the left side there. Um, so there's, there's been a couple. I mean, like I said, we'll go back and look at it and see how we can fix it. And next time the ball goes in the back of the net. In the first half, the team seemed to struggle with the different pressures and defensive schemes by UCSB. Yeah. Uh, what was this message and plan in the second half? Uh, it's just got to be better. I mean, I mean, we were, technically we were not good enough in the first half in terms of moving the ball. I mean, we moved the ball slow. We were sloppy on the ball. Um, so we talked about being able to move the ball a little bit quicker, get our eights into the wide areas and stuff in terms of getting the ball, and change our shape a little bit to um, to allow the eights a little bit more freedom, get a little bit more pressure on their front line, get a little bit of different personnel in and around those in and around their sixes, so we could find the ball central. Um, was there a reason for the, I would say lack of substitutions or not as many minutes for some substitutions as others no we just felt as though you know once we got into the into a good moment in there in the second half we felt as though you know we were playing well enough to win the game and so we didn't want to disrupt it we felt as though we had enough players in the field where we could win that game and hence see some of the chances that we created with it so all right oh um last question for me uh obviously 35 total fouls today what yeah. was the message to counter the aggression uh, right back at them. Yeah. You know, it's as simple as that. You know, listen, fair play to them. They've they've come and they've cracked us with a couple of tackles early in the game. And um, you know, like I said earlier, Sofia Venus changed the game because she was willing to get into the game. She was willing to put her foot into the tackle, to win the tackle, to um, you know, to be the aggressor with regards to the tackle. And you know, at the end of the day, she she led the way for us and like I said, got us back into the game.